Hello everyone, this is a Southern Hellenic. I am back with another video. So in today's video, now these are, uh, before I say what I'm talking about in the video, I'm going to say that things like this is only going to be done about once a month. And that's mainly because this is a Hellenic channel. But I wanted to include Roman religion into the mix so that there is information out there for people interested in Roman religion. So, um, last month I did a video about how to get started in Roman religion. So, I'm going to actually talk about... I'm not going to talk about the gods. That's next month. Because I kind of want to get my stuff together and that way I present a more wider and more in-depth video than I did, than I would have if I decided to start with the gods today. So, so I talked about how to get started in Roman religion. Now let's talk about the importance of ancestors in Roman religion. So, that is the title of the of it is ancestors in Roman religion so one of the things there's a huge difference between how we view the dead and how the Romans viewed the dead so for instance is um, some wealthy Romans actually had a place where you could put um, offerings and of course when you died your family members had these elaborate rituals and all this stuff and there was a and if you look at like Greek religion there was a belief that you were ritually or you were like polluted if you touched the dead body or you were around the dead um so if you look at if you look at burials today um, there's several different kinds of burials. Uh, there's the cool burials and the not so cool burials. So, um, so my mother had passed away in February, as most people know, and I was I was thrown into the whole thing about planning her funeral and all this type of stuff, which I actually did not. I just had her cremated. Um, that would prob that definitely would be wrong to do in ancient times. I'm pretty sure it's the same as in Greece as it is as it is in um, Rome. So the belief that you are ritually impure because you were around the dead or you were uh, or you handled the dead is a concept that we as modern Americans and in the modern world do not actually believe in. Uh, it is something that does not um, click in our heads. However, I have noticed that, or I did notice that when I got back from the funeral home, I did feel bleh, like I was dirty. And so, that was just how I felt. So I actually went into a shower and put clean clothes on too. And I was ritually, I, I not ritually pure for myself, but more of like getting rid of the bleh. So um, when we talk about, we talk about ancestors in ancient Rome. So the show Rome actually showed a, uh, portions of food being offered to the ancestors and I was I'm actually a member of a group called um, cultist decorum and I, and I thank them for all the nifty information I can get and you go to your lalarum and you you at you basically um, let me, let me see how he said it. 
you go and you ask the ancestors if your recently deceased or a couple months ago deceased individual can be welcomed into among the ancestors. So I did that, except I, um, I did a little differently. I forgot what I did, but um, I, I did it. And I got nothing from the ancestors saying that they wanted her excluded. So I have a pretty good idea that it was accepted. And that's why, that's why a lot of, that's why I leave offerings to my ancestors and stuff like that. Because they're important. But ancestor veneration, no matter if it's Celtic or Norse or Roman or whatever, the impression that I get is that it was extremely important. And I think it is one of those practices that was very difficult to um, remove. But anyways, um, so how I honor my ancestors is by living a life that they would respect, um, excluding religious, uh, being a good person, leaving them offerings. Uh, in Egyptian religion, you have to leave offerings to your uh, ancestors. That are, it, you have to do it. You have to do it. But if you look at the show Rome, which did have a group of of uh, archaea of historians that were ensuring that at least most of it was accurate, um, they showed that. So I kind of wanted to get on here and talk about that, and so I will see you guys around. So until next time. May be happy, healthy, and most importantly, be safe and held to the gods. Bye.